Fourth graders, I'm super excited about today's STEM activity, more like an art, not really STEM, but more like art. But we are going to create a totem pole today. Now, totem poles, according to the Native American research we've been doing, are made from large trees. They're carved out to have symbols made of, and those symbols are animals generally, and they are to tell a story. You are going to create a totem pole with symbols that represent things in your life, whether those be special events, memories you have, the month you were born, your spirit animal, which you can find out with the link below, or any kind of story, event, or things about your family you can put in your totem pole. But first, you've got to plan. So walk through the steps with me, and here we go. The first thing you need to do on your totem pole is go to the slide that looks like this. Part of STEM is to first design and plan what you're going to do for your totem pole. So you will sketch out what you even think your design is going to be about. When you're finished, you upload that sketch to your slide, insert a photo of your drawn design here, and you need to be sure to explain what your symbols mean. You're going to describe how that symbol what it is. For example, look at mine. My totem pole ends up being really long, but I designed on a piece of paper and I just put what it meant over here for now. I wouldn't forget why I was picking it. Spirit animal, which you could do on that on this slide. See the symbols that I decided to pick and why I picked them. I would then take a picture of this and upload it to this slide so we can go on to the next step of creating it. Pause here and take a moment to do those steps and then come back and watch me. Now it's time to construct the actual totem pole. So I'm going to give you a little trick. I have a very long tube, but one way to figure out, like give us a guideline when we are going to make our drawings is I'm going to put my tube on my paper. But what you can do is take a pencil, a crayon. I'm using a crayon because it's darker and I'll be able to see it through the other side. And just go along your tube so it gives you a reference that you can follow when you're drawing on the other side. You see I have somewhat of a guideline. If I turn it over, you can faintly see some guidelines of where I can put my drawings. That way when my drawings, if it goes over, I know that I can cut it out to give it like a 3D effect like as if the wings were going out on the totem pole that you have learned about or seen pictures on the slides. So it will give you more of that feature of the 3D. I have now both drawn and colored my what I envision for my totem pole. And here's where it gets a little bit tricky. I will say that all I did was use bold colors and I used crayons. You can choose to use markers if you would like to. I just used crayons and made sure that some popped out. Now here's the thing, you can't just cut along the edges or it won't go around the totem pole. So there's some things that you're going to leave pieces of and some things that, let's say I want his whiskers to come out, I'm going to cut these out but still leave this part. You are going to wrap this around. You can get an idea. If I were to wrap this around, it looks just like this, which is good and it works, but maybe I want the baseball to come out. So the way to do that is to cut right above and go along 
the side the best that you can. And on the other side as well. But notice I still have the sections that's going to wrap around my totem pole, my around my roll. So here's what it would end up looking like. My wool is going to go around, but my baseball is going to stick out a little bit. So I have that sticking out, but that will still wrap around. Every now and then you might want to take some opportunities to cut it out, but remember you still have to have some that will wrap around your paper towel roll. I will show you the finished product when I get there. I have cut mine out just to the pieces. Any that's open is going to end up flaring out of the totem pole. I will take my, just so you can see, I'll tape it for now, but you can also glue it. I'm going to put the drawings now over my barrel like this. All right, now we have the completed totem pole. And you can see how some of my stuff points out, giving a little bit more of an effect, like my book and trees and the bottom of the shoe. I can't wait to see all of yours and be sure to upload a picture of your final product.